smallest horn sinew composite crossbow. Uh, this is six and three quarter inches from knock to knock. The belly of the bow is uh, is white horn. It actually came from a small horn like this, and it's a uh, sinew on the on the back of the bow with a wooden core inside. But all I can span with two fingers. I. I think it's at least 35 pounds at 2 inches. So even though this this little prod has a high poundage to draw back since it's such a short power stroke it's not uh, delivering a great deal of force into the uh, it doesn't have much time to accelerate the bolt very fast. It's uh, This is a this is a light bamboo bolt, and uh, try shooting this one. So this this string does come off, and that's that wouldn't be good. Uh, you know, it's not good for the the limbs to come slamming forward. But this has enough resistance with the bolt, and it's really difficult on a small model like this to uh, a very small difference in the length of the string is the difference between it being unstringable and uh, models are actually a small model on a crossbow is actually very difficult to get properly balanced with the string more difficult than a longer one like this is a uh, probably tell a little bit how difficult this draw this draw weight is it's uh it's a little bit painful to to span hmm. now this this little bolt, it has a fairly heavy broadhead on it, and the balance point is uh, pretty extreme forward of center. Balance points way up here, so that's a you know that's a very heavy head. So, <clears throat> this has been an interesting project. Learned quite a bit about how to work the materials from this. How to work with the horn and sinew.